already in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this little section view right here um, so in the last videos we did create a detailed view right and we also created the custom title blocks what we've recently done um, so in this video I'm showing you how to create this sectional view and basically what a sectional view is is it's basically if you would imagine just cutting an object right in half uh, it's the view that we would end up seeing so in this case what I've got here is just this little cut along plane here so there's this line and then you see that there's these arrows pointing backwards and you see that there's an a on there okay so this is because this is section view a it's denoted with an a there and so we have section a Okay, um, the arrows are pointing backwards. That means that we're looking at it from this way, looking into it, just like that. Um, and so this is the actual um, this is the actual part that we're seeing. So now anything that is with these diagonal lines, that basically means that that is a solid part of the object currently in that slice. Anything like this, this is actually that little hole that we're seeing up here on the top. And so that is a hollowed out part right there currently, right? Um, but then these are all um, solid parts, right, that we actually had to cut through is what that's denoting. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press Control Z and go back. As you also notice, as I'm going backwards, it is taking out these center lines that I ended up putting in. I'm going to show you how to do those as well. And so <clears throat> just took that out. And so we've got our detailed view here. Uh, what I might end up doing is just move our detailed view over here just a little bit. Um, but then what we're going to do is uh, while we're in here with the crank arm, that we got from our last video for the detailed view. We're gonna go up here to the section view. So now if I click on this, what we can do is we can set up some different options, either a vertical section view or a horizontal section view. There's also an angular section view. I'm gonna go with the horizontal cut line. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna come in here on the middle and I basically wanna find somewhere on the middle, just like right there, I just clicked. And then now it's given us these options, right, for these arrows. So if I kinda, move this a little bit it's going to go a different way so i'm going to go below this and as you can see those arrows are pointing backwards just like that now it is giving me an option if you just saw in that window beforehand for the actual section um what the uh letter would be for that and that is going to be b if i go in here i can also change that just from double clicking on this i am going to keep it b though because we got detail view a then i'm just going to do section b just to kind of make sure we don't get confused with this also being a that way this also looks a little bit better too we got a right here right and then we got b um so then now what we can do is uh, we've got this section view in here uh, one thing that is always important is that we do want to use some center lines so there's always a two-point center line up here that you can end up using that is where you can manually go through and create that what you've also got up here is an edge to edge center line as well so if we actually click on this guy then what i can do is i can select two different edges and then it's going to actually create that center line for me okay Another thing that you can do is there's a three-point circle center line. There's also this guy over here, too, two-point circle center line, and then also this center mark, right? If this were the case where we were right here, you know, we would want those center marks in there. Um, but we're just going to go through here. So then now I'm going to go ahead and continue with my edge-to-edge -edge center line and put that in there so we can do that. And basically, this is going to end up being uh, 10 of these holes that we're going to be doing this for. So we're just gonna go through here, make sure we got center lines on there. Um, pretty helpful to have that. And then what we can also do after this, after we've got this, we're having a little bit of trouble rendering here. There we go. Uh, what we can also do uh, is, I guess if you wanted to as well, you could end up doing a edge to edge here as well because that is also centered. Um, ideally though, we'd want this to be going all the way through because this is pretty much uh, symmetric, right? So we would probably wanna go to uh, well, it is giving me an issue there, but basically we would want it to be throughout this entire thing as well, the center line, uh, because that is mirrored uh, along this axis as well even. Uh, but those are the different options, what you can end up doing. I just want to show you how to create that sectional view right there. Um, so I hope that was helpful. As always, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.